grateful to be in the moment to talk about the metaphysical or the physical. I'm not sure which one it is anymore. But um, I'm always grateful to be here. And uh, I've had this book for many years, and a lot of different things are stored in it. And I'm really grateful to come here and read some of them to you. Uh, I'm only going to do one. It's kind of short. It's kind of sweet. It's my favorite. And I just want to set the scene because they're all really sort of sort of glimpses of um, my experience so far in this meat suit. Um, so it's, uh, I went to school in West Texas, and I realized that if I was ever going to finish school, I should go to class from 8 to 12 in the morning. Because after 12, all the fun shit happens, and you get to go out and do stuff. So I was like, oh, I'll just go to school in the morning, and then do all the cool stuff in the afternoon. So I was always one of the kids that was walking to class at 7.30 in the morning. This is one of those mornings in Lubbock where the sky is just beautiful. It's so big out there. There's not a whole lot, but there's beauty in that too. But uh, the sky was really phenomenal that morning. And I had on headphones, and I wrote this when I sat down in class. Sorry if I get a little, you know, whatever. But uh, it comes from here. Yeah, I love so, it. So here it is, without further ado. <laughs> this morning, the sky was like music. The kind of love that would not let you abuse it. A softly painted wave of blue rhythms and yellow rhymes. It's as if every dusk and dawn, nature commits the perfect crime. But turning every word, prayer heard, and newborn baby bird into something so perfect, it's artistically absurd.